In this video, you and I get to chat about black, gray, and white box testing in the context of vulnerability scanning and penetration testing. Let's begin. Now, when doing a test against a system, which may be against the network as a whole, or maybe against a specific application that's running on a server, we have different categories of testing that we could do. We could do black box testing. Not to be confused with black hat. Black hat refers to illegal and unauthorized activity. Black box testing refers to doing penetration testing where the pen testing team has no prior knowledge of the details of the network, the systems, or the servers that are currently in the system. They're basically starting off from scratch without any prior knowledge. And that is black box testing. Now on the far other side of the scale, we have something called white box testing. With white box testing, the person that's doing the testing has full knowledge and access. They have a username, they have a password, they have the source code, they have full knowledge, they have all the details regarding the system or the server or the application that they're gonna go ahead and test against. So with white box testing, with full knowledge beforehand, the tests are gonna be more specific in nature. For example, if we've looked at every line of the source code and we know that certain parts of the code are totally solid, we're not gonna waste our time in testing against those. However, if we do look at the source code with white box testing and we see a gaping hole wide enough to drive a truck through, that's absolutely part of the code that we're gonna test with our white box testing. And then last but not least, we have gray box. And gray box is somewhere between white and black box testing. So for example, with gray box testing, perhaps the tester was given a username and password Maybe they were provided with general overview of how the system works, but they weren't given the details. For example, they weren't given the source code for the application they're testing against, or they weren't given the detailed devices in the network infrastructure. So with gray box, they have some information, but not all information. And just like black box testing is different than black hat hacking, white box testing is also different than white hat, where white hat hacking refers to the authorized individual who's using tools to investigate and discover the network and test the network in an authorized fashion. And compared to white box testing, that's referring to somebody who has full knowledge of the system before they begin. So what would we call somebody who has full knowledge of the system and is fully authorized to use hacking tools against the network? That would be a white hat hacker using white box testing. For more information on these concepts, we've got a CISSP course up at CBT Nuggets. We've got a Security Plus course up at CBT Nuggets, and we also have the Certified Ethical Hacker Series all up at CBT Nuggets. I've had a great time with you in this video. I'm glad you joined me for it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.